Can Pakistan avoid a full-blown economic crisis? It seems like a daunting question given the current state of its economy. Let's delve into the heart of the matter. Please subscribe to this channel. Your single membership is extremely valuable for our growth and motivation. To receive regular updates, click the bell icon. Pakistan is grappling with a high public debt load. Its foreign exchange reserves are dwindling, leaving its economy teetering on the precipice. The country leans heavily on imported food and energy, a dependency that has been exacerbated by the rising commodity prices. This surge in prices has expanded Pakistan's current account balance and siphoned off hard currency, further straining an already fragile economy. Over the past year, we've seen a significant contraction in Pakistan's foreign exchange reserves. They've shrunk by more than half, now standing at just over $9 billion. To put this into perspective, that's roughly enough to cover about six weeks' worth of imports. But, it doesn't end there. The Pakistani currency, the rupee, hasn't been spared either. It's been on a downward spiral, losing 24% of its value against the dollar in 2022 alone. This depreciation has not only affected the purchasing power of Pakistanis but has also added to the cost of importing essential goods. All these elements combined paint a grim picture of Pakistan's economy. Its current economic trajectory suggests an impending crisis. The high public debt load, shrinking foreign exchange reserves, and a heavy reliance on imports are all red flags. The loss in value of the rupee only adds to the woes. Many believe that an economic crisis is inevitable for Pakistan but is it? What factors contribute to Pakistan's economic troubles? Let's dissect this. At the heart of Pakistan's fiscal woes is its heavy reliance on imported goods, particularly food and energy. This dependency has been severely impacted by surging commodity prices. As the cost of these essential items rises, the country's current account balance, the difference between its export earnings and import expenses, has ballooned. This widening deficit signifies that the country is spending more on imports than it's earning from exports. Simultaneously these escalating costs are draining the nation's hard currency reserves. Hard currency, often in the form of globally accepted currencies like the US dollar or the euro is crucial for international transactions, including the import of goods. As these reserves deplete, the country's ability to finance its imports comes under stress, leading to a vicious cycle of economic strain. These factors have led to Pakistan being high on the list of economies that markets believe might soon follow Sri Lanka into debt default and economic crisis. Despite the bleak outlook there's a glimmer of hope for Pakistan's economy. The acting head of Pakistan's central bank holds a belief that the country is well positioned to weather these economic storms. Compared to other economies on shaky ground, Pakistan's debt load is relatively lower. Moreover the amount it owes to foreign entities is less offering a bit of breathing room. Recently, Pakistan and the International Monetary Fund or the IMF reached an agreement to revive a pre-existing bailout arrangement. This arrangement is set to provide approximately $1.2 billion in financing. It's a lifeline that could be a game changer for the country's economy. The significance of this agreement goes beyond the immediate financial aid. It's a signal to the world and more specifically, to Pakistan's creditors. By aligning with the IMF, Pakistan may dissuade big creditors from demanding immediate repayment of their loans. It's a strategic move that could buy Pakistan some much-needed time to set its economic house in order. Moreover, this agreement could sway market perceptions. It may convince observers, both domestic and international, that Pakistan's financial health is underestimated. This could be a turning point in how the country's economic prospects are viewed, leading to increased confidence and investment. But let's be clear. The path to recovery is not a straight line, it's more of a tightrope walk. The current account deficit and weak inflows of capital could upset the delicate balance at any moment. The challenge will be to maintain market confidence and establish credibility in the face of these odds. While the situation is precarious, maintaining market confidence and establishing credibility will be crucial for Pakistan to avoid a full-blown economic crisis. Please subscribe to this channel. Your single membership is extremely valuable for our growth and motivation. To receive regular updates, click the bell icon.